Okay, today I'm gonna be crushing nitinol or memory wire. So memory metal is called nitinol because it's a alloy of nickel and titanium. So what's cool about it is that you can twist it in any shape that you want. Twist it all up. And if you just stick it in warm water, whoa, <laughs> it shoots right back straight. It does it pretty forcefully too. So I just crumble it up. I'm gonna stick it in this warm water. It's gonna just pop out straight, ready? <laughs> That's awesome. So this memory metal, it's used in heat engines, motorless motion, like robotics. It's even used in orthodontics, so like in your braces, this is the type of wire that's used. So a normal wire, like steel or something, when you bend it, it causes the cubic structure, all of the planes of atoms to slip past each other. And it doesn't matter whether you stick it in hot water or not, it doesn't do anything. But this nickel titanium alloy is really cool because under moderate bending like this, the planes don't actually slip past each other. They just get stretched out. And when you give them enough energy, they just pop right back. See? So cool. <laughs> so what I wanna do today is to see if I crush it with enough pressure that it'll cause the atomic planes to slip past each other and it won't pop back into shape. Okay, let's flatten out this memory metal and see if it regains its shape afterwards. Okay, memory metal crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. There's a lot of folds in it now. Okay, so it got pretty flat and it even made some really good crinkles in it that you can't get with just bending it with your fingers. So I wanna see if those also pop back straight when I put it back in water. Okay, I'm gonna drop this in the water, see what happens. Hey, you not really do anything. Huh. Hey, I thought it would at least go straight. I thought maybe the crinkles wouldn't come out. I'm gonna heat up my water a little more. Okay, so let's put it back in the water. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's unwinding, but not a lot. Huh, that's surprising. So I heated the water up a lot, almost boiling. It didn't really get back. So that means in these parts where it's not straightening, it means that the atomic planes slip past each other and now it's truly deformed. So I wonder now, if I straighten it back out, if it were, will curl back together. Ha, huh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. So normally with nitol, if you heat it up, you can get it to form a new shape. So you can choose what shape you want it to be in when you heat it up. But it looks like also, if you apply a lot of pressure to it, you can make it form a new shape. So notice how before it was straight and wanted to be straight when I heated it up. But now, since I crushed it and made it curly, then when I put it in the hot water now, it goes back curly. That's so cool. So that's just from pressure, not from heat. So the pressure caused the planes to slip too. I did not expect that. That's really cool. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and you can comment in the comment section with anything that you'd like to see get crushed, and I'll see you next time.